We have three tables. First one is the sales table. The information that we have is the customer ID, product ID, and the quantity for each and every line of transaction. The second table is the customer's table containing customer name and customer ID. The third table is the price list containing the product ID together with the price for each and every product. And the requirement is to create a summary report, calculate the revenue, and put it in a summary report. We have only one condition. You are not allowed to use merge queries. We are going to use two different methods instead. First one, the function list.positionOf. The second one will be the lookup operator or the double square brackets. These two methods are going to help us to bring data across different tables without using any merge queries. Hello and welcome to a new video from Advanced Tower Query Series, video APQ09. In this video, we are going to see how we can perform exact match lookup inside Power Query without using merge queries. We are going to see it in two methods. Let's go directly and start with the first method right now. Here you can find my three tables. I already sent them all to Power Query. You can notice that I have only two steps, source and change type. Same for customer table and same for the price table. Only two steps, source and change type. I'm going back to the sales table as I'm going to prepare the report inside this query. So the first step I need to bring from the customer's table, I need to bring the names of the customers inside the sales table and I would add a new column like a fourth column and enter the correct customer names corresponding to each and every customer id that i have here in order to do so let me start by just adding a new column so i'm going to add column ribbon and custom column i'm going to give a name for the new column let me call it customer name and then let me start by just referencing the entire table the entire customer table so i'm going to just write customer inside the formula area and then click on OK. And here you go. You have a new column named customer name. And, and if you check any row of this column, you will see that I have a table. If you check the table in the preview, you will find that I have the entire table of customer data. However, the requirement is just to select the suitable row from this table corresponding to each and every customer ID that I have here. Let's check the first line. I have the customer ID of 2002. You will find this same code inside the second line of the inner table or the customer table and you will find the name is hypermarket so from this table i need to select only this line the second line you know that power query is starting from zero so the first line is zero second line is number one so in order to just reference the second line i'm going to edit and inside two curly brackets i'm going to hard code one and close the curly bracket and hit OK. And here you go, I have a record instead of a table. And if you check the record, it is exactly what I want, hypermarkets and 2002. The problem will happen when I try to move to the second row. You will see that I have also hypermarkets and the customer ID 2002 and so on and so forth till end of the table. That's why I need to go back and try to find something that can help me to look up or match or fetch the correct number or the correct customer ID for each and every row. I'm going to edit once more and inside the curly brackets, I'm going to use the list dot position of the list dot position of inside the two curly brackets will, will help me to do exact match lookup. So I'm going to start by writing list dot position of I'm going to open a bracket and looking at the screen tip, you'll find that it requires a list as a list. So the list I need to search in will be for sure inside the customer table. So I'm going to write customer, which is basically the name of the table that I have here on the left hand side, the name of the table for the customers. And then I'm going to open a bracket because I'm going to search inside a specific list. So I'm going to provide only one column. This column will be for sure the customer ID column. So I'm going to type customer ID. Here is the second choice and then comma the value that I want to search for. This will be for sure inside the same table so if you check the table here i need to check or to search the values inside this column which is basically the customer id column so i have here the customer the available columns i have the customer id column 
I can just double click and then close the bracket for list the position of and then click on OK. And here you go. I have also a record. First one, no change. Hypermarkets 2002. Second one, now it's changing with the change in the customer ID code. 2005, 2005 matching and the name is Delta Group. Third one, it's working perfectly and so on and so forth till the end of the table. I need only the customer name, not the entire record. So I'm going to edit once more and at the end, I'm going to add a square bracket and type the name of the column that I need, which is basically the customer name column. Close the square bracket and click on OK. And here you go. You have the customer names. Two final things before finalizing this step. I need to change the data type. I need to change it to text. So instead of adding a new change type step, I'm going to edit inside the formula bar, inside the table.addColumn function that automatically added when we add a new column. There is a final parameter here. Just before the close bracket, I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to type type and then text. You can notice that the word type colored by blue and the word text colored by uh, green. So it's both are known keywords for Power Query, I can just use the check mark and here you go. We managed to change the type without adding a new step. The final thing, I'm going to rename this step to give it something that is meaningful. So right click and rename. Let me call it lookup customer name and enter. In the following section, we are going to see how we can do exact match lookup with a different way, which is basically using the lookup operator. <laughs> Now we need to add a column to calculate the revenue. In order to calculate the revenue, I need the quantity, which I have here in this table. And also I need the price. The price is not in this table. It is in the price list, in the price table, in the price query. So I need to use the product ID as a reference in order to fetch the correct price for each and every product from the sales table or the sales query. In order to do so, I'm going to add a new column. So I'm going to add column ribbon and add custom column. Let me give it a name like revenue and then I'm going to reference the entire table exactly like what we did last time. So I'm going to type price and then click on OK. And here you go. You have each and every line of the new column containing a table. If you check any table, it contains the entire price table or the entire price list. Now I need to fetch the correct record from the inner table matching the outer table, matching the product ID of the outer table. Let's do the first one manually. I need to fetch the 1002 as a product ID. It is in the second line. And because we are working in Power Query and Power Query is zero based. So the first one is zero. The second one is one. So I'm going to edit and between two carry brackets, I'm going to type one, then press OK. And here you go. You have only one record. First one is matching. No problem. But the same issue because we hard coded the number one. If you go to the second record, it is not matching. It is constant for all the records. Now I need to put something that can help me dynamically fetch the correct record. In order to do so, I'm going to use a different technique, not the list of position off. However, you can still do the list of position off, but I need to show you something different. So I'm going to edit again. And inside the two curly brackets, I'm going to use the lookup operator, which is basically the square bracket. We all know that square bracket is also the field access operator. We use it when we want to reference a specific column or data inside a specific column. But in this case, inside the two curly brackets, you can consider it a lookup operator. I need to search inside the price table. So I need to search a specific column, which is basically the product ID. So I'm going to type product ID. When this equals two, the information inside this column, the product ID of the outer table for each and every record. So I'm going to select it from the available columns and double click. And then I need to close the square bracket for the field access operator. So I used the square bracket twice. The outer one is the lookup operator and the inner one is the field access operator. Once I click on OK, you will see that I'm still having a record for each and every line. But if you check the first one, it is matching correctly. Second one, 1001 as a product ID, matching this one for the inner table or for the inner record and so on and so forth till the end of the table. Let me go back to the source step. I want to show you something. If you look at the excel.current workbook function inside the source step, 
it's using similar technique you can find that inside the two curly brackets here you have the lookup operator excel current workbook is just fetching all the tables inside your current workbook and you want to search the name the name of the table which is basically the sales because the name of this table is sales inside the excel and that's why using the double square bracket which is in this case also a lookup operator not a field access operator it is just selecting the name sales or the table called sales from the entire table of content inside this current workbook so we are using the same technique that is generated automatically by excel.current workbook back to the our added column now i have a record the correct record from the price table i need only the field price so i'm going to edit once more and i'm going to add a square bracket as a field x operator and i'm going to type price close the square bracket and hit ok and here you go you have all the prices i can easily multiply the outcome of all of this to the quantity so i'm going to type asterisk and then double click on the quantity and click on ok and here you go you have the revenue calculated correctly now we need to change the type of the column i'll do it the same way i'm going to the last argument of this function table.add column and then i'm going to type comma type and this time i'm going to type number and hit the check mark and here you go you have the type changed to 1.2 or number let me give meaningful name to this step right click and rename let me call it revenue calc Finally, we need to create a report. The report will summarize the revenue by customer name. So I'm going to select the column customer name, right click and group by. I'm going to give an name to the new column. Let me call it revenue, the same name. The operation will be sum and the column will be the revenue and then click on OK. And here you go. You have your revenue summarized by the customer name. Now I'm ready to close home close and load this query was already loaded before so i'm going to just click on close and load on the right hand side i'm going to select the query sales right click and load to in order to change the loading option i'm going to select table and existing worksheet and click on ok and here you go you have the revenue summarized by the customer name we managed to fetch data from three different tables using two different techniques and we never used merge query however merge query is also very useful i'm going to put a link on top of the screen right now in order for you to check all the videos that we had about merge queries inside the power query basics series in the comment let me know which one is more easier for you the list position of the lookup operator or the normal merge queries technique in few days i'm going to post a new video from the power query challenges series this will be about the approximate match lookup please stay tuned thank you very much for your time if you like this video please like it subscribe and leave me a comment you will find some useful links here please check them out and see you in next video and bye